All right, guys. So final step of the rocket is to find the center of pressure. We found the center of gravity. The rocket's basically constructed. Um, center of pressure, once again, has to do with uh, forces due to air friction. So we're going to find the center of the surface area by tracing our rocket as accurately as we can onto a piece of this big paper. When I've done that, we're going to cut that out and we find the center of gravity of the outline of a rocket. It's kind of weird, but it works. So I'm just going to cut this out. That way, if somebody needs this big piece of paper for their project, they can use that. Now I can take a little more time cutting my shape out here. Okay, so we've got an outline or a shadow of our rocket. Fairly close, looks like. We're going to find the center of gravity of this. And because there's more paper down here, the balancing point is going to be closer to the bottom. The problem is, how do you find the balancing point? of a floppy piece of paper. Well, it's really quite simple. If we give it a couple of folds, we make it more rigid. We're not changing the location of any of the mass when we fold it this way. But now, I can just set that on my finger until I find the balancing point. It's going to be right, looks like it's right kind of in between there, maybe just a hair this way a little bit more. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to mark that kind of just with my fingers. I'm going to get my rocket. I'm going to set this next to my rocket, line it up at the tip and the back. And where my finger is right here, that's where my center of pressure like be right about there. So we've got these colored reinforcements. Pick a color. It looks like nobody likes yellow, so I'm using those up. So we mark the center of pressure with the colored one, and the center of gravity is marked with just the plain white one. And one of our requirements was these would be at least two inches away. I could measure that, but I think I'm closer to six inches which makes me think this will be a super stable rocket. Um, we could do some things at this point if, if your rocket does not work, like if this is really close or even worse if it's backwards, if you've got the center of pressure up here, we need to do some modification. Um, again, making the rocket longer, bigger fins will help move the center of pressure down. Adding more weight to the top can move the center of gravity up. Um, so at this point, we're, we're pretty much done. There's a lot of little things we can do to make our rocket fly better at this point, though. I could take some time and try and smooth out this tape. And any ragged stuff like this would be cut off and, and just make it as smooth as we possibly can. We can modify the fins a little bit. Maybe make them a little smoother on the edges. Uh, double check and make sure fins are nice and tight, they're glued, they're taped. Um, if your fins are crooked at all, it, you're going to want to rip it off and adjust it, re-glue it back on so it's straight. If they're crooked, you're, it's going to twist your rocket, your rocket's going to fly sideways, it's not going to be good. So once you've found the center of pressure, Take, take some time and, and see what else you can do. Maybe pick all the hot glue spider webs off. See what you can do to make it as smooth and aerodynamic as you possibly can. Anything like this is gonna catch air. 
you want to make sure everything's stuck down really good, no wrinkles. Um, again, whatever you can do to the fins to make them cut through the air even better. And then we just gotta wait for a pleasant day outside so we can launch. That's it.